Good evening, guys. Welcome to Setha Technology, your Java class by Venkat Reddy. Guys, is it audible to everyone? Yes, fine, good. Now, Guys, in the previous sessions, we observed that how to do the coding, right? How to develop programming, right? Today, by using all those things, we will do our programming, guys. In the last session, we just uh, remember, we observed, guys, in the last session, what we did, we just developed one simple program, which is used to display, so welcome message. But now today, we are going to write addition of sum of numbers and calculating bills, some programs we will do guys okay yes now let us observe today so first one first 
first one today what we are going to do we are going to see the program what is the program guys write a program to write a program that consider a value is 5 and b value is 7 then calculate sum of a and b then calculate sum of a and b that's my requirement guys very quite simple program guys nothing great um, before going to your program one subject the rules one subject the rules um, guys if you want to do any programming we have five steps right we have five steps right if you want to do any program we have totally five steps are available once you have recap the five steps what are the five steps we have open any editor like notepad notepad plus plus or edit plus any editor your choice editor is your choice guys okay you can open any editor you can open any editor fine good then write your program then save your program with dot java extension save your program with dot java extension then compile your program by using what guys java c space file name dot java execute your program by using what java space class name compile your program followed by what guys execute your program this is the five steps right so if you want to do all these five steps so first we have to do what the rules don't forget the rules so first every java is an object oriented programming language that's why everything we have to write inside of a class every program execution starts from main method that's why we have to write what public static void main every line ends with uh, semicolon that's why mention the semicolon at the end of the line if you want to display any message we have to use print ln method system dot out dot print ln welcome what are the message we have is yes, write the message guys fine now by applying all this observe what i'm going to do i'm going to develop the code i'm going to work with i'm going to work with what guys everyone everyone observe guys i'm going to work with edit plus let us observe open edit plus i'm going to work with edit plus let's open edit plus This is my edit plus software guys. This is my edit plus software. Now what I'm going to do? File, new, Java. Because I want to develop Java program. That's why file new Java program. File new Java program. So by default class, this is what example guys. So this is my first program, addition example. My class name is add example one. and every program execution starts from main method that's a public static void main string array args so i don't like args you can write your name also no problem if you don't like args you can write your name also venkat next one what is our requirement guys i what they said consider What the question they are saying that consider a value is 5 b value is 7 guys a value is 5 b value is 7 are those are integer values or double values 5 and 7 are called as an integer or double values everyone guys 5 7 are called as an integer that's right what in a equal to 5 
तमाम b equal to seven तमाम guys if we add a plus b five plus seven the result is what type guys the result is what type even the result is also inter type right that's why here mention c semicolon every line ends with semicolon now calculate c equal to a plus b semicolon so i want to display some system dot out to dot print ln of c Let's observe here. For C, I didn't mention any single quotation or double quotation. Why, guys? C is what variable, right? Your requirement here is what you want to display data from the variable. You are, if you want to display data from the variable directly, you can write C. I mean variable name. No, sir. I want to display the fixed data. I want to display some text message. Then use double quotation. I I don't want to display the C. I want to display C value. That's why I simply mention C. This is a program, guys. Program is over done. Now save your program. Alt F save. Your choice, guys. You can save in any location. Uh, I'm going to save this one in Java 4 p.m. Add example one is my file name. Open command prompt, guys. Open command prompt. Just show me, guys. I'm opening command prompt. Open command prompt. Find good. Now let's check Java C space. Our class name is add example one dot Java. What it says? Java spelling wrong. Java C space add example one dot Java. Uh, execute guys. Now if you want to execute, what is the command I have to use guys? If I want to execute, what is the command I have to use? Everyone, guys, if I want to execute, what is the command I have to use? Java C is for compilation. That is already done. Now execution purpose. How to execute? Very good. Very good. Java space class name is add example one. Enter. Object sum is to one. Output comes. Sum is to one. Output comes. So like we have to display the output, guys. Now check the program, guys. Everyone. Guys, everyone, everyone, observe the program. Just take two minutes time. Check it. How to do the numbers? Addition of two numbers program. Yes, is the program is clear? Is the program is clear? Guys, here you can take any name. This is what one reference name, guys. Generally, if you open any one, you will have ARGS arcs is available. In that ARGS, we can mention any name. We can mention any name. Some variable name we have to specify. Uh, 
Hey, subject sir, what is the string array asks? What is the benefit here? At present, you don't know anything. So don't worry about that one. That is one syntax at present because you are a starting level, right? That's why this is the syntax. That's it. Once we move on to advanced concept because you don't know what is array also, right? Once we move on to advanced concept, then automatically you will know it, guys. I'll explain. Don't worry. Guys, execute this program in your system, everyone. Without seeing the program, without seeing my program, execute the program in your system. Don't observe any program or program without seeing this program. Execute the program in your system. Here we are getting output as 12. Here we are getting output as 12, right? But my requirement is what guys? I am expecting output as, I need output as what guys? I need to display as display as sum is 12 okay subject here 5 plus 7 12 that's why I want to display out present sum is 12 if my a value is 10 b value is 10 I want to display sum is 20 I want with what some text message along with my value. This is my requirement, guys. You know, observe my requirement is what I want to display. Some is some text value along with the text value. I want to display along with the text value. I want to display with the value also. Along with the text value, I want to display value also. So in this scenario, what we have to do in the sense. In this particular time, what we have to do is yes, we can write as your SOP statement. Guys, in this one, in this one, 12, is it fixed every time? 12 is available where? Guys, in your program, your sum, the result is available in which variable? The result is available in which variable? see right so that's what we have to do i'm just same program everything will same guys what i have to do simple mention sum is plus c so this is a fixed data sir this is my fixed data that's why mention what sum is double quotation sum is what within double quotation simply mention sum is my result is available in C variable. Variable data, if you want display, no double quotation, nothing. Mention C. I mean, variable name, whatever the variable you want display, that variable name. And in order to separate, means in order to, this is string data, this is variable data. Both combine and then I want to display, right? String data is available and then variable data is available. Both combine and then I want to display. So use one symbol, the symbol is called plus symbol. Plus symbol is fixed, guys. Use one symbol, the symbol is called as a plus symbol. Okay. Priyanka, comma is what? Python, not in Java. In Java, we have to use plus symbol. Fine. Save your program. Go for your command prompt. CLS, compile your program. 
Exeter program Java space at example one. Observe now the result is sum is 12. If you change the value based on that, the result will change. So this is a value is 50. Fine, good, nice. If a value is 50, compile your program, execute your program. Now sum is 57. We are getting the print statement. Only what we changed, only the print statement we changed. Remaining everything will be same, right? Now, guys, program everything is same. Only what changed, guys? Only the SOP statement changed. Guys, now my requirement is what? Observe my requirement. I want display output as. I want display output as. Like of uh, fifty seven as for above program fifty seven is your result. Guys, I want display output as in fifty seven is your result. I need to display output as I need to display output as 57 is your result. 57 is your result. This is the thing which I need, guys. I need to display the output as 57 is your result. This is the output which I need. Now, what I have to do? Only SOP statement we have to modify. How to write the SOP statement? My requirement is what? I want to display 57 is your result. 57 is your result. How to write? Guys, remember here, whether your program addition or subtraction, multiplication, division, whatever it may be, in SOP statement, this is a string type data. This is what variable type data? Two types of data is available, right? String type data is available and variable type data is available. These both combined, I have to display. That's why we have to use plus symbol. Whether your program is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, whatever your program may be, whatever the program may be, but here always we have to use what plus symbol. So that your string type data and your variable type data, both combine, then display the data guys, then display the result. Everyone guys, how to write SOP statement? If your requirement is what? I want display 57 is your result. 57 is your result. Virama, check your answer. If you write that one, you are going to get the result is 57. Chandana, I need 57 is available in which variable? C variable, right? 57 is available in which variable? C variable. Then how to write? Yes, very good. Akil, if you write only C, you are getting 57. You won't get any message, right? Yes, what do we have to do guys? Simply instead of writing this line, 
midst of writing like this, we have to write first to C because first I need value that's why C plus then I want to write is your result that's it so first to I need to write C my variable variable data plus variable data plus my string data whatever the string data I have that string data I mentioned here save your program save your program go for compilation compile execute now getting 57 is your result check guys we are getting what 57 is your result right so your SOP statement matters guys how you write SOP statement that statement matters if you want to display this one yes we have to write program as like this No, no, sir, my requirement is what I have a little bit changed. My requirement now changed again. What is my requirement now? I want to display output as I need to display output as 50 and Seven sum is fifty seven. I need to display output as what is fifty and seven sum is fifty seven. Guys, in this one, how many variables are available? How many variables are available in this data? Everyone, guys, how many variables are available? Three variables are available. 50 is available in A, 7 is available in B, 57 is available in C. 50 is available in A, 7 is available in B, 57 is available in, sorry, 50 is A, 7 in B, 57 in C, right? Uh, do the program, guys. How to display this data? Veerama, check your answer. Good, Manika. Girikar, good. Dattatriya, check your answer. If you mention anything within double quotation, same thing we are going to get. For variables, we never mention double quotations, right? For variables, we never mention single quotations or double quotations, right? Variables are no double quotation. Everyone remember for variables, no double quotation. Only string type of data we have to mention double quotation. Angus Dubey, 50 and 7 are available in variable, right? A and B. So you can't write 50 and 7 directly. Good, Akil. Akil, you did a small mistake check. Check your SOP statement, Akil. Sri Radha, check your answer. Your answer is not correct. One small mistake is there. Yes, 50 and 7 also available in variable. 50 is available in one variable. 7 is available in another variable. 
50 is available in one variable, 7 is available in another variable, 57 is available in another variable. Total three variables we have. Variables are no single, no double quotation, nothing. Directly we have to mention. If you have variables, no double quotation, I think directly we have to specify. So we have to write what? We have to write what here in place of this one. So A value I need that. So A plus and is normal data. A and plus B value plus A and B sum is plus C. Observe guys. Text type data comes then double quotation mention. Text type data comes then double quotation mention. Without text type data, without text type data, then what we did guys, without text type data, then what we mentioned, simply we mentioned. Without text type data, simply we have to mention variable names, uh, A value, B value, C value. Observe all we have to combine and we have to display, right? All we have to combine and we have to display, right? That's why we mentioned plus symbol. Guys, you are doing addition, that's why plus symbol, sir. If I'm doing subtraction minus symbol, no. In SOP, always we have to use only plus symbol. SOP, always we have to use plus symbol to concatenate and display the data. Save and go for what command prompt. Compile the program. Execute a program. Observe now output 50 and 7. Sum is how much? 57. 50 and 7. Sum is how much? 57. Getting the output right, 50 and 7 sum is how much? 57, right? This is the way we have to display the output, guys. Your requirement is output, in which format we have to display that matters, guys. Your output in which format we have to display, based on that we decide. Based on that decide. How to display the code, how to write the code. Okay, based on that, write the code, guys. Sunil, so what are the value you've mentioned? That value sum will come. I mentioned A value is in 50, that's where 50 comes. I mentioned B value is sum, 7 comes. If you mention A values in 100, you will get 100 as a value. Okay, so everyone exude your program. Exude this program in your system and check it. Now your doors are clarified. Malla, exude your program. With your requirement, someone video is on. Stop the video, guys. Yes, if you have a string type data, 
and variable type data in that scenario to combine those data we have to use plus symbol bonus babishri string and variable is available then compulsory we have to mention plus symbol So at the time, always we are going to get 50, right? Output as tomorrow, if you change instead of 50 here, a equal 57. At the time also, your output is 50 only, right? We are not getting the output. Everyone, everyone, execute guys. I'm giving time to execute yourself. Don't sit ideally. Whenever I'm giving time, that means that you have to execute the program in your system. Don't sit ideal. What we need guys, A value is 50, B value is 7. So int 57, 57, all are integers, that's why int a equal 50 comma b equal to 7 comma c so c equal a plus b add it now on display output is what i want i need 50 and 7 sum is 57 fine good so 50 it is a variable variable comes just to mention variable name and is a normal text right And is normal text, right? So mention normal text within double quotation. Normal text within double quotation. Variable comes up, direct mention name. Any questions guys here? Execute guys, everyone execute first. In your system, execute. Yes, everyone, everyone. Now, for you, one more program, guys. Based on this, for you, one more task. Our example is what? Consider. Consider P value is consider P value is fifty two and Q value is five point three one. Now add P and Q, P comma Q store into into our variable store into our variable then display then display our value then display what guys our value i want to display our value guys this is my requirement i want to display what our value i want to display our value uh, guys here how many variables required in this requirement First, identify how many variables required. Three variables, so P, Q, R. Total, we need three variables, P, Q, R. P is what type of data? P is what type of data? So, we have to go for int, very good. Q is what type of data? Q is what type of data? Which data type I have to write? Which data type I have to use in Java? In Java, which data type I have to use? Yes. 
we have to use double 5.31 is a floating value right that's we have to use double d small letter complete thing is small letter guys and if you add these two numbers the result what about the resultant data type guys yes very good the result is also in the form of double and do the program guys and ping the program with output do the program and ping the program with output execute the program and then ping the output also i'm giving the time execute the program then ping the program complete program guys complete program at once ping complete program at once don't write line to line here now take the time do complete program then ping me guys as as go ahead Hey, everyone, guys, everyone, go ahead. Yes. So what I have to do, sir? P value is. They mention what P value, right? They mention what P value, right? How much P value they said? P value is fifty-two. So right, P value is fifty-two. Semicolon. Double. Q value is. Double Q value is because now I don't I have a Q value Q value is floating type value right? Five point three one is a Q value so five point three one and R value. If we add P and Q, we are going to get the result as in double format right? We are going to get in which format double format. So here what we are going to do? R equal to P plus Q semicolon. Simply display what? Sum is plus R. Sum is plus R. That's it. The program is over. Execute your system, guys. Execute program into your system. Check your program. Whether the program is correct or wrong. Guys, are able to do the programming, right? any questions in this program guys hmm. 
Okay, so you can use the double also Venkat Naga, but uh, what happened? You are getting output as in 52.0. Unnecessarily extra memory waste, right? So don't go for it. Now, one more question, guys. Searching in, in Java, what is the default data type for floating values? Double, right? Okay. Always subject, guys. First to variable declaration is required. Once you declare the variable, then only initialization possible. Without declaration, initialization is not possible. Without declaration, initialization is not possible. As I already learned, right? As we already learned that without declaration, there is no initialization. Or else if you want, you can directly write double R equal to P plus Q. Like that also, you can write no problem at all. Double R equal to P plus Q directly you can write. But P plus Q is an expression, right? So, instead of mention here, I am just want to write separate line. That's it. Nothing great. For you, one more guys. One more guys. Observe. Your task is what? Example 6. Mr. Vishnu's salary. Vishnu. Annual salary is seven lakhs twenty thousand. Mr. Vishnu annual salary is seven lakhs twenty thousand. Now calculate his monthly salary. Calculate his monthly salary. Guys, amount to time, whenever amount is available, always go for double type, guys. Amount, we will mention dot zero, right? That's why always amount comes up, always go for double type, guys. Now calculate is monthly salary. Display what? Display monthly salary. Display what we have to display, monthly salary we have to display. This is your program, guys. Mr. Vishnu, annual salary. I'm giving annual salary of Vishnu. Now calculate his monthly salary, then display monthly salary. Uh, do it, guys, everyone. And ping the program with the output. Yes, you can write any name, guys. Lavana mention and then check it. Everyone, everyone, do the program, guys.
guys everyone everyone do it i'm giving annual salary annual salary means per year salary i'm providing per year salary i'm providing you have to calculate monthly salary you have to calculate monthly salary I'm providing monthly annual salary. You have to calculate monthly salary. Program. Kitna, where is the program? Ping me the program also. Aditya, ping me the program, not output. Only output. I need program with output. Yes, yes, everyone, guys, everyone, ping me the program. Everyone, do the program, guys. As, as I already mentioned, that today onwards practical sessions are going on. Ready with your software, I said, right? Open your software, do it now. I want program, I want program. So let us observe guys how to do this program. So this is what salary example, right? Salary example one. Yes, always remember whenever you are taking the names of the class names. In class names, every word, first two letters should be capital letter, guys. As far as industry standard rules. Not for Java rule. Not for Java rule, guys. As far as software company rules. As far as software company rules. So your class name, every class name every word in your class name every word first letter should be capital letter guys that is software company rule not for outside rule your java rule okay uh, mention what double annual salary equal to seven lakhs twenty thousand double so i need monthly salary monthly salary equal to what I have to do, sir, annual salary by number of months are 12, 12. Annual salary by 12. That's it. System dot out dot printer land. Monthly salary. Is. Monthly salary semicolon. That's the program is finished. Monthly salary is finished. See your program. See your program. Salary example one. Save your program. Go to your command prompt. Java C space salary example one dot Java. 
Java space salary example one. Monthly salary is how much? Sixty thousand per month is going to get it. Sixty thousand per month is a monthly salary. Like we are getting what monthly salary? This is your program, guys. Yes, we are getting what monthly salary. Guys, is it clear? Ready for one more task? Now observe. Now observe here. Your example. Write a program to consider. Consider pizza cost fees or else. Write a program that. I'll I'll give one scenario, guys. Based on scenario, do the coding, guys. Okay, Mister Vishnu or already I use the name now. Avinash. Mister Avinash went to Pizza Hut. Order for two pizza with the cost of. With the cost of three ninety nine rupees each, then calculate is then calculate is bill amount. Then display. Then display. Mr. Avinash went to Pizza Hut, order for two pizza. With the cost of three ninety nine rupees each, then calculate is bill amount, then display. Uh, do it, guys. We have only five minutes time. We can five minutes do it. We have only five minutes time. Yes, yes, everyone, everyone. Observe the requirement. Read case study. Read case study. Then do the program. S S everyone. 
first decide how many variables required decide how many variables required then based on that you have to do the program guys decide how many variables required based on that do it guys Yes. Let's see the program, guys. Whether check whether your program is correct or not. Verify whether your program is correct or not. So my program is regarding to Pizza Hut, right? File, new file, Java class, Pizza Hut. Now. Already they provide a double pizza cost equal to three ninety nine rupees. Already what they provided guys? The pizza cost is how much? Three ninety nine rupees. Our Avina shared for how many pizzas? Two pizzas. So into quantity equal to two. Now I have to calculate the bill amount, right? So to calculate bill amount, double bill amount equal to double bill amount equal to pizza cost into quantity semicolon. Pizza cost into quantity semicolon. Then display it. What I have to display, sir? Bill amount is bill amount is plus bill amount. Bill amount is plus bill amount. So this is Pizza Hut. My class name is Pizza Hut. Save your program. Pizza Hut. Compile your program. Go for command prompt. Go for command prompt. Then compile Java C space. Pizza Hut dot Java Java space Pizza Hut enter object so the bill amount is how much seven ninety eight rupees is the bill amount seven ninety eight rupees is the bill amount this is the code which we have to write. So based on the requirement, we have to decide the variables also. What is our requirement? We have to analyze based on the requirement. We have to decide what type of variables we have to take. Then we have to do the programming guys. Guess any questions in this one? Krish, if you go to Pizza Hut, did you order for two and of pizza or two point six pizza? Tabaswam, already you missed some basics. I think go with my YouTube videos so that you will get the clarity why we have to mention only double. Guys, if anyone missed the previous classes. Remember, guys, if anyone missed our previous classes, sir. So today is my first class, sir. Today is my second class, sir. I missed some basics. Our previous classes I missed, sir. So if you missed previous classes, then problem will come, guys. That's what you have to do. Just go to YouTube. Just go to YouTube. 
and just to type what guys satya technology satya technology venkat reddy satya technology venkat reddy you will have all our previous videos guys so total 8 videos are available guys total 8 videos are available regarding to our previous sessions total 8 videos are available regarding to our previous session all 8 videos are available in your youtube guys all our previous classes class by class it is available class by class it is available so if you have any queries any questions regarding the previous topics once go through the topics previous topics guys open satya technology website open satya technology website then check the videos guys subscribe the satya technology website channel guys so that you will get it updates guys when our we posted any new update you immediately are going to get the update subscribe and share as well like our videos guys subscribe share as well as like our videos guys Natadre, I didn't explain any typecasting in this class. Typecasting topic not yet completed. Why you will get that doubt here? Ajay Kumar, then decide yourself what type of uh, data you have to take. okay i'm going to give you i'm going to give you some scenarios guys you have to do that one i'm going to give you some task do the task guys after that if you have any questions then i will answer those things guys okay guys so instead of asking questions me decide yourself you are the programmer right think yourself how to do that one some people are asking sir so instead of two if i mention three what happened Instead of double, if I mention it, what happened? Already in your hand system is available. In your hand system is available. Program is available. Keep. You have a thought is available in your mind. Remove double. Make it as an float. I mean, make it as an int. Instead of remove two, make it as an three. Check it. If you get the wrong answer, to get the right answer, what we have to do it? Think. Do that one. Because you are the programmer, do you, you forget that main issue? You are the programmer. You have to solve. Thought comes in your brain. That means excellent. You are awesome. When thought comes in your brain, in the sense excellent, you are awesome. Implement that thought. Implement that thought. Okay. Yes, your task is what? task number 1 consider three subject marks as 79 99 95 then calculate total and average marks of a student this is one task second task is consider employee monthly salary is employee monthly salary is how much monthly salary 55000 now calculate Yes, salary. Third one. Consider Avinash went to D Mart. Order for two point five kgs. Order for two point kgs sugar. Now. Calculate bill amount. 
Now calculate bill amount. Sugar cost is forty four rupees. Sugar cost is forty four rupees. Rupees forty four rupees. This is the three programs. It is your task. Case. This is three programs which is your task. Fine. Three programs which is your task. So that's it for today, guys. Okay, everyone, do this one. Now, if you have any questions, we will discuss about your questions, guys. First, Datta Treya, what is your doubt? Guys, everyone, take these three questions. Then do it. Tomorrow I will ask. You have to submit. Dattatreya, are you there? Okay. Any other questions, guys? Anyone is having any questions? Here, Billa. we are asking about that one only for display purpose nothing chegubegi sunil think how to calculate average marks yourself think it that is the task right yeah they will upload guys no problem today they will upload i think so sairam gst or percentage type programs tomorrow we will discuss percentage related programs we will discuss in tomorrow class So that's it for today guys we'll meet tomorrow thank you guys